Apple just released beta 3 of iOS 18 and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything new on your iPhone with beta 3. One of the biggest issues I've had with iOS 18 on my device has been screen time. It's been a major issue where I, if I go into screen time, it automatically just freezes up the settings app and it becomes unusable and you have to force close it. And if you had any restrictions that you had on certain apps, it automatically would not let you bypass it and you're just stuck with the given limits, which was kind of annoying. And now with beta 3, that has been resolved and you can finally go back into screen time and adjust the settings that you would like to adjust. So that is finally fixed in beta 3. The biggest new change that we're seeing in iOS 18 beta 3 is Apple's automatically applying a dark mode effect on third party applications where it sees fit. So you can see the Amex application is automatically darkened, the YouTube application is automatically darkened, the Creator Studio app, and a whole bunch of other third party applications now have this dark mode icon. And some third party applications, if the color Colors are a little bit too advanced for Apple to figure it out. It automatically just darkens the app icon, which you can see with Amazon, the TD application, and a whole bunch of other third party applications as well. And speaking of the icons, the maps icon is also getting a slightly redesigned to it. So it's going to be a little bit more vibrant than it was before. And personally, one of my favorite features in iOS 18 has been the dark mode icons. And I hope to see more improvements with this as we get more betas and the final release of iOS 18. Next, we're getting a slight redesign in the emoji section in the messages application so now when you go into emojis you're going to see a combination of your stickers your emojis as well as your emojis all in one little section and the emojis are going to be slightly bigger so you can see them in a little bit more detail but also since it's a little bit bigger you're going to see less emojis per page than you would have before the photos application finally gets the select icon so now you can just click select to click on all the images that you would like to share especially if you're going to have like a shared iCloud library or anything like that and you just want to select a lot of images quickly the select icon comes in very useful that's just a very subtle change but much needed in the photos application in beta 3 for iOS 18. Next we have a new dynamic wallpaper for iOS 18. Apple introduced these new iOS 18 wallpapers but previously they were just kind of static it just changes colors based on if you want to have dark mode or light mode but now it's going to be dynamic and it's going to be color changing based on the time of day and you can see a little demo of how this looks right now so it's going to be color changing between different kind of wallpapers all in this one dynamic wallpaper which looks really cool i haven't personally tested it out for the entire day but it does look really cool and if you're a fan of the new ios 18 wallpaper you most likely would want to check out this dynamic version of it instead of the other options that were available previously the new dynamic one does look pretty cool. And finally, Apple continues to update the user interface for the flashlight on the iPhone 15 Pro models. So you can see right now, if I go into the dynamic island, I have the option to adjust the spread and the brightness of the flashlight on my iPhone. So if I want to be a little bit more narrow, I can have that set up. And if I want to be spread out a little bit better, it can also work just like that. And you also have the option to increase and decrease the brightness of how you want the flashlight to be, which actually does work and it's pretty cool. And the interface just looks really insane in iOS 18 on beta 3. And that's about it for this video. If you guys want to see more updates on iOS 18, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.